Good afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Do I need to turn it up? Okay. I am Carla with the Woodson County Chamber of Commerce. I would like to welcome everyone here for the dedication of this sign for Eldon Miller. Um, I would like to thank our House of Representatives, Larry Hibbard and Ron Ellis. Representative Ron Ellis was very instrumental, instrumental in getting this uh, sign. He wrote the bill, I believe, to get the sign in. And I worked with Barbara and Don of last year. We started working with them. And it's an honor to be able to do this for their family. And um, I would like to turn it over to Colonel Mark Bruce now. And he's going to speak. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I appreciate everybody coming out today. This is a, a great showing for a, for a great, great day and uh, an opportunity to recognize one of the Gates Center's own. I uh, want to talk on a, a different, few different points here. First of all, I can't overstate that, you know, what an honor and a privilege it is for me to speak here today and, uh, and actually be a part of this, this dedication of the ceremony as it relates to uh, memorializing a section of US 75 highway for uh, Sergeant Eldon Miller. Uh, Eldon was one of those guys that's kind of typified his generation, you know, dubbed uh, the greatest generation for, you know, for good cause and good reason. He uh, served in the, the military during World War II and came on the patrol in 1953, you know, taking a path of dedicating himself to, you know, causes and opportunities that were that were greater than him as an individual and so that speaks highly to his character and and his service to both uh, the United States and, and the state of Kansas. Uh, I'm going to read just an excerpt here from the event on uh, January 19th of 1968 when uh, Eldon was killed in the line of duty. Uh, he's one of ten of our troopers who have paid the, the price, uh, the ultimate price, and given their lives in service to you know, Kansans and, and all of us in, in our communities. On January 19th of 1968, Eldon responded to a large man at the two suspects who robbed $13,000 from the Metcalf State Bank in Overland Park. During the getaway, the suspect shot and wounded an Overland Park motorcycle officer near 71st and Concert. After the getaway vehicle was found abandoned near an apartment complex in the 8400 block of Newton, Officers formed a perimeter and searched each apartment. When officers went to enter one of the apartments at 2.41 p.m., gunfire erupted through the door. Sergeant Miller was outside the apartment and jumped into a nearby Johnson County Sheriff's car. He began to drive the patrol car up to the windows outside the apartment to provide cover for officers who were pinned down by gunfire. As he was moving the car, gunfire erupted from one of the windows striking him his wounds were immediately fatal. Eldon was 48 years old at the time of his death and he had served the citizens for just over 15 years, citizens of Kansas for just over 15 years. He was the first member of the patrol to be killed by gunfire. It's certainly fitting and proper that we're here today to memorialize a stretch of the highway near his hometown forever to be remembered by the agency served and the public that travels this stretch of US 75 highway. Let me now just real quickly read a, a portion of the, the bill that was passed that actually established uh, and will establish this stretch of highway from the, the north end of the H Center up to the, the Coffee County line on 75 highway. Uh, House Bill 2096 passed during the 2017 legislative session is an act concerning roads and highways designating a portion of United States Highway 75 as the Eldon K. Miller Memorial Highway, being it, be it enacted by the legislature of the state of Kansas, the portion of United States Highway 75 from the northern border of Woodson County, then south on United States Highway 75 to the northern city limits of the city of Yates Center, is hereby designated as the Eldon K. Miller Memorial Highway. Again, I appreciate you all coming out today. I had an opportunity when I was coming in from the north to see the, the sign that's at the, the county line on the Coffee County and, and Woodson County line. Uh, it looks like we got the other sign here today, so I'll turn it back over to you now. Thank you very much. 
I would like now to introduce our House of Representative Larry Hibbard. He is here from uh, our own Woodson County. Great to have him. Thank you, Carla, and uh, thank you to everybody that uh, took the time to come out today. This is a, a real special uh, situation and one that uh, I had very little to do with, but I'm very happy that it happened. I was, I was approached by my other representative, and I want you to raise your hand, Ron. He didn't seem to want to speak, but uh, uh, he came to me and he says, I've got a constituent that... Uh, is interested in honoring a member of their family that was killed in the line of action uh, with the highway patrol. So I told him a little bit about what needed to be done and I said, you know, you're a, a freshman legislator, this is a real good place to get started. And uh, he took the ball and carried it and uh, it's uh, worked out real good. Not everything gets passed up there in one year, but this did. Uh, it's, it's close to my heart. Uh, whenever you can honor our boys in blue and, and uh, the service people who have given the ultimate sacrifice, it's always a special time. Unfortunately, we have to do that once in a while. Uh, I, like many of you, uh, have lost a very close friend uh, in the line of duty. Uh, somebody that many, many of you know uh, our Greenwood County Sheriff, Matt Samuels, in a sit situation that almost parallels this. He was 42 years old instead of 48, but uh, very much the same same type of situation. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Carla for putting this together. Thank you for all of you being here. And uh, uh, welcome to the 13th District in Woodson County. Thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. Um, I would like to introduce our next speaker is Richard Mincer. Cougar, I am so sorry. I thought I had my names all straight. Good afternoon. Eldon Miller was my favorite uncle, and I want to say just a few words about him as a man. He was the true son of Woodson County, born in a little farmhouse three miles south of the Yates Center on the west side of 75 Highway and he'll lie forever on the east side of 75 Highway in Yates Center Cemetery. He was a, he was a wonderful guy. The, 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 the kind of uncle every boy should have. Taught me how to shoot, taught me how to hunt, taught me how to fish. He was a man's man but uh, when we were alone, traveling a, in a patrol car, we would sing and tell jokes. <laughs> he was that kind of guy. Uh, I could go on all afternoon of stories about Eldon, but I want to tell you, he was fearless. And that turned out to be his downfall and the reason that he left this world early. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Okay, I guess we're getting ready to unveil. I'm gonna let these gentlemen introduce their names before we unveil. I know this gentleman right here is a relative, Mr. Mosier. I'm Sergeant uh, Darren Mosier from Johnson County. I've been there 30 years and uh, it's a great privilege in honor to um, unveil this sign in honor of a man that I never met, but uh, his legacy lives on through my brother and I. And I'm Master Trooper Ryan Mosier with the Kansas Highway Patrol. I kind of followed in my uncle's footsteps, and he was my great uncle. I didn't get a chance to meet him, but uh, knew his knew his wife and my favorite aunt, Aunt Marion. So um, uh, just great. I, considered a great honor and I want to thank mom and dad as a great job.
I want to say it is such a pleasure and such an honor to be able to say that we have Elden Miller from our community and I want to thank the family and let me get to know you in the past year. Thank you. Welcome.